<coughs> Hello and welcome. It is Saturday, July the 30th, and this is the Greenmire Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we return to the book of Acts, chapter 4. We will be reading verses 13 through 22. Here's the word of the Lord. When they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished, and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. But since they could see the man who had been healed standing there with them, there was nothing they could say. So they ordered them to withdraw from the Sanhedrin and conferred together. What are we going to do with these men, they asked. Everyone living in Jerusalem knows they have performed a notable sign, and we cannot deny it. But to stop the thing from spreading any further among the people, we must warn them to speak no longer to anyone in his name. Then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But, John, but Peter and John replied, Which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to him? You be the judges, and for us we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Any thir further threats, they let them go. They could not decide how to punish them because all the people were praising God for what had happened. For this man, who was miraculously healed, was over 40 years old. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Peter the Bold by Linda Boardman. Here's what Linda writes. This cannot be the same Peter who denied Jesus three times the night Jesus was arrested. Now, before the Sanhedrin, this Peter stated boldly, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. This is the same Peter, transformed by the fullness of the Holy Spirit, preaching, healing, and speaking courageously in the name of Jesus. The charges against him were not because the disabled man was healed, but the man was healed in the name of Jesus. The men of the Sanhedrin were amazed. They knew Peter had been with Jesus. They saw the healed man standing there with them, and they heard the people praising God. They were afraid of the people. They could not risk the people turning on them. There was nothing left to do but release them with threats. The church answered threats with praises. They were not intimidated by fear or anger. There was no thought of returning threats, but shouts of praise to God for His power. What about us? In some occupations, even for clergy, praying in the name of Jesus is unacceptable. Do we have boldness to speak out the name of Jesus and praise Him? The hymn is Jesus is the Sweetest Name I Know by Lila Long. There is no name in earth or heaven above that we should give such honor and such love. Let us all complain, acclaim that wondrous, glorious name of Jesus. And from the book of James, chapter 5, verse 13. Is any one of you anyone among you in trouble let them pray is anyone happy let them sing songs of praise and this is your daily devotion for saturday july the 30th have a blessed day